big jumps, cool characters, and fun anime stages. This game jump started the cute anime themed racers back in the 90s. That game is Atlas's Snowboard Kids. Yes, my friends, this fantasy sports racer definitely needs a sequel. Ah, the good old days of the old Nintendo 64, back when games were simple and had variety. Mario, Zelda, Banjo-Kazooie, and Pokemon. Even outsiders like Jeff Force, Gemini, and Sin and Punishment were a great joy to play. And Nintendo had hit after hit for us kids back in the 90s. But another game took notice as well back then, and that was Snowboard Kids, one of the coolest racing games ever. But for some reason, never really got a proper sequel after part two. And I recently played both of the series, and man, these games are a lot of fun. I used to play this game with my cousins back in New York when I was younger. See, this series is known for its fun factor, but has many other features like cute characters, Mario Kart-like items, simple and cool tricks, custom boards and outfits, and crazy stages with anime themes. This was a lot of content for an N64 game. Yo, I'm about to take you back to the past on this one. So the story of the series is pretty simple. A group of friends that snowboard against each other for fun and friendly competition. Each character has their own personality, Jam and Slash being the troublemakers of the group, but they have good hearts inside. Tommy the jolly giant, Nancy the shy and nice girl with awesome moves, and Linda the rich brat with the short temper. There are more characters in the series, but the main ones are the tropes of the overall series and it works all together. In part 2, the story still surrounds the same group of friends and their adventures crazy scenarios and a little devil demon named Damien wanting to ruin their day. But as always, it backfires in a hilarious way. Now there are some cool short stories in both 1 and 2 and they have a family feel of them to each of them feel relaxing and pretty much everybody can enjoy these short stories as they come with mini games on the side. Also for the presentation, the anime themes for both the story and the aesthetic revolves around the cartoony theme of Japanese chibi. From the character build and the design all the way down to the U UI menus and even the hub world of Snowboard Kids 2, this makes it a joy to see all together and brings a smile to my face cause it's something that kids and adults can enjoy. Now think of the gameplay like this, snowboarding mixed with Mario Kart items. Oh yes my friends, any game that wanted to be Mario successful back in the day, they all copied some format of the series. But let's go back on the topic. For the gameplay aspect overall, it's pretty damn simple itself. Now the game is a simple race to see who's the fastest while doing tricks to earn money to get weapons. Are you lost? Well, let's try to catch up here. There's also a little bit of coins to collect on each stage just in case some newcomers don't know how to play or do tricks and I think that's also a little bit clever on Atlas's part and Raijin. As each game goes on and you defeat or win uh, more races along the way, the stages get more difficult and more players and unlocks will open the more you play. Now between part 1 and 2 of Snowboard Kids, 2 is easily the better game with improved gameplay. More characters and bigger and more interesting stages will appear overall. But both games seem to contain a casual pick up and play feeling and back then me and my friends love those type of games and still do on a casual chill out day. That's what makes this game so easy and fun to reminisce on and we can just pick it up and just have fun with it with no commitment whatsoever. Now there are some game modes on the side like trick stages and time trials and more mini games to keep you busy and give you more secret stuff. Hashtag no DLC bullshit. Ah uh, the good old days when you just play the game and find more content on your own. Plenty of these games existed back in the day have crazy replay value and chalk up this game snowboard kids as one of the greatest to do it If you have time, give Snowboard Kids a chance and play it for yourself. But now it's really time for my favorite part 
of the video, a wish list. My wish list for if there's ever gonna be a Snowboard Kids game or a sequel or a reboot. So here's my ideas for the SBK series. First off, more characters to add with Slash and his friend. Add a bigger roster, but continue adding the main one as well. Have a little, you know, chemistry with the new cast and the old cast. And make a cute little story like you did in Snowboard Kids 2. Second off, crazy stages like Wendy's house and space station. That was really fun to look at and really fun to play. Have like a carnival or a fun house or um, another exotic beach with waves and cool environmental effects. And thanks to environmental effects, that's gonna be my next one. More tricks, more environmental, like big things or like hazards or whatever. Not hazards, but like cool things that happen like in stages, like avalanches and waves and you know, volcanoes exploding and you know, all kinds of cute and weird and fun stuff that happens on stage. Another thing is, you know, add a cool feature like hoverboards. Like, you know, you had your snowboards with rockets on them, have some hoverboards in there too. That'd be pretty cool. Of course, we all want better graphics for a newer generation, but have the graphics fit the style of like a, the, the Shanti demo that they had, uh, Way Forward had back in 2015. Or something like Rayman Legends, you know, or something that has like the cartoony style, but really looks good in graphics these days. And an online multiplayer with custom kids. More variety and more creative creativity, excuse me, more creativity world over. That would be pretty good. To play people online and snowboard kids would be pretty fun. Kind of like how Mario Kart does it. Well, in conclusion, guys, just play snowboard kids, man. If you never played the game before, well, what are you waiting for? There's emulators out there. If you can find a copy of the game or buy an old N64, go ahead and try it out. Dude, I love this series, and a lot of people do too. And a sequel to this game would be very much appreciated. Overall, snowboard kids, play that shit now, son, because it's pretty fucking good. And if you like the video, click that subscribe button for more content. And any feedback, comment below and let me know. And tell me what you think about my video. Alright dudes, I love you all. Peace and love. I'm out of here. Have a good one. But please, please don't ever, 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 ever make this bullshit again. SBK for the DS. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Ugh. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.